when the food dude joins us on Thursdays about this time to feed us so we can eat it. Just eat it. You cleansing your you're cleansing your palate right now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Danny's here with 98 won the max. Jeff's in studio as well. And Alan, a first test is always cold or hot, and this is cold. I brought you a cold this morning. That's oh, right. Oh boy. Welcome to it's time for a summer dish. And you got a kick in garden. Because let's do the big reveal. Woo! The, the, the smell comes hit out of this one, man. It hits you. <laughs> oh, this yeah. Cap- caprese hey. salad? Here uh, on your behind. You, there you go. Uh this is basically your your oh, yeah. tomato salad. Oh, lovely. You've got uh, <laughs> yellow bell tomatoes. You've got Roma tomatoes. you got Cherokee purples. you got basil. Uh, let's see. Uh, Monterey Jack cheese, cheddar cheese. you got a little feta in there. And you got some mozzarella and just a dash of balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. All I can think of Caprese salad was the office episode. Yep. <laughs> they found the basil. It's not they illegal. thought it was marijuana, and he goes, that's Caprese well, salad. Well, in, in, in that case, you have some primo. Um, caprese really. salad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, it's not illegal to plant Caprese salad in someone's uh, vertical file. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, you know what? This is great because it's a cold dish. So the next time the wind blows and the power gets knocked out, you don't have to heat things up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, again, it's summer. It's, you know, it's time to get together. It's time to, uh, you know, basically it's, you know, three months of impromptu tailgating. So everybody calls and says, hey, bring a dish over. And, you know, the problem with hot dishes in the summer is you've always got to reheat them. Mm-hmm. So you get them outside. It, you know, you, you you go outside and every everything on the table winds up being lukewarm. Isn't a caprese salad with mozzarella cheese? Or not, um, uh, oh, what kind of cheese you got in here? Mozzarella, you said. You, you got a little mozzarella, a little feta. You got some. Um, ooh, now I gotta look. You got the feta. You got the cheddar. You got the uh, yeah, cheddar Monterey Jack. This is probably a little bit better if you're going to be outside for a while, too, because it's not something like mayonnaise based. It's going to be fresh vegetable. Well, not that you want to be sitting out all day in the heat, but well, you, this, know, you got some chicken salad and that mayonnaise starts getting. Well, again, yeah, little, you don't have anything. You don't have a raw egg product or something yeah. like that sitting in here. Uh, you also don't have, yeah, there's no sugar. So there's really nothing here to. You know, oh, you know, people forget sugar makes you want to drink stuff. Yeah. Sugar and salt both, which is why every time you go to the bar, there's a sweet or a salty snack on the counter. I thought they were ah, just being nice. I did too. No, they're not being nice <laughs> at all, man. They're just feeding me, man. Here, have some free pretzels. No, that, pretzels. no that's what the beer nuts are there for. Have some free pretzels. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah. You got a little sweet. Got a little I've never salt. seen sweet. And they've never had like Oreos up there. Uh, I mean, that'd be. That'd be a cool little hook. He's <laughs> <laughs> at the bar and then got some chocolate chip cookies. You got some, Oreo, got some Oreo crumbles up there for you. I feel like I could skip the gym. I feel healthy yep. eating yeah. this. <laughs> don't don't yeah. y'all feel like kind of like very cooled light. off? and Very light, yeah. Well, and the big thing here is it's, it's three different kinds of tomatoes, too. So you get little different flavor differences because the yellow bells are almost sweet. The Cherokee purples is a, a mid-sized tomato, and the Roma as well. You know, Roma's the marinara, you know, favorite mm-hmm. tomato of all time. So you get a nice, clean, you know, it's a nice, clean. And, yes, that is fresh-picked, chopped this morning basil. Yeah, ah, that's good. Yeah. So, you know, you got a, I always got a big old pot of basil, you know, ready to go right there on the back patio. It's good. I've never had it. It was good. I've yeah. seen it. I've never eaten it. It's good. So what's the so like powdery it? substance on here, Alan? Is there any what a, kind of a powdery substance? Well, I don't know what is it. Like Garnish. You put, what Garnish. What do you, what do you what put are on you there? About? What, what, he got it from the White House. A powdery. Yeah. Hmm. No. What, what kind of spices you put on besides the basil? Is there any other stuff? In no, there? that's it. No paprika or anything. No, no, no. What you were probably looking at is the little bit of feta cheese dust. Ah, that's right. The little little feta cheese on there to give you that little bite. Get a, get a little fresh on there. So. Well, I would say I'm pretty impressed. What do you think, Danny? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The caprese salad that I had one time at a restaurant had a big old, big old thing of mozzarella cheese. Well, you can put the big circle in there, yeah. but you know we had kind of limited space. No, so. I like this. I like. Yeah. This. Of I was thinking about just putting the, the the long strip of mozzarella in there, and I was kind of like, ah, that's hard to eat when you're string cheese. Yeah, you can do it. Well, yeah. 
right, I, that would have been cut from a block. Thank you, Jeff. But uh, yeah, it's kind of you kind of remember where your food's going to get delivered. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you're yeah, trying, you got a bit cheese whiz for us. Yeah, right? yeah well, uh, you know, it's like I, I wasn't denigrating down. I was trying to say that you know, it's it's sometimes it's hard to eat food the way people bring it to the church social or whatever, mm -hmm. and they they didn't chop it up well or whatever, and you wind up with. You know, right. the kids walking around playing walrus. With, now, uh, you know. I feel like this is something that you've introduced earlier that it could work like a, we could stuff something with this, like a oh. bell pepper, and then it'd just be like a grab and go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Easily. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> See, I like this because there's some crunch to it. I like, you uh -huh. know, I like mm -hmm. my stuff crunchy. I don't Good like it texture. soft and yep. soggy. No, yeah. no. Nice, clean, fresh. It's just light. It just a little, little pickup in the middle of the day kind of thing. What would you think, Tim Van Horn? I thought it was great, and it's appropriate because, as you can see, my window screensaver is oh. like an Italian, like, lakeside. <laughs> right he's now. already so in I, Tuscany. I, I, he's already so in I, Tuscany. I, the the ambiance. It's like I being at Fazoli's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, five-star review. There you go. Like Mazio's or Fazoli's, yeah. Easy, easy peasy. Where do they fit the, uh, find the recipe for this? They can just pop over to the cookingtodayshow.com for pictures and other shenanigans. And Newstalk989.com. Uh, we'll post it up there as well. I guess it's closing time, man. You got any more of this? Yeah, I do. Oh, I'm going to have to have another. 